Recently, I've been getting increasingly frustrated by a bug in oxygen not included where my power shutoffs are getting stuck and aren't allowing power to flow, even though they're receiving a green automation signal. Today, I'll show you specifically what this bug is and how to work around it. I'll also use this video as part of my official bug submission, link in the description, since I have found a way to reproduce the bug consistently. Today's setup consists of an automation signal switch on the right, which leads to a whole bunch of NOT gates set up in a series. Connected to each NOT gate via automation wire is a power shutoff and the bottom row of lights. The middle row of lights don't receive an automation signal, but their power will be turned on and off via the power shutoffs. As you can see, when I flip the switch, it toggles the automation signal and swaps all the power shutoffs and lights. They do this with a slight delay, thanks to the NOT gates, with the right ones changing before the left ones in a pulsing type manner. So, to reproduce this bug, what I want to do is save in the middle of this pulse. To do this, I'm going to toggle the switch while paused, then unpause and repause quickly. By watching the lights, I'll know that my timing was correct and that I've paused in the middle of the pulse. Now, just save the game and then load that save. When the save loads, unpause the game to let the pulse finish. Now we're able to observe the bug. As you can see, one of our lights in the middle row is off when it should be on. When we look at the power shutoff for this light, we see that it says it is inactive, but it is also enabled by the automation grid. And that's the bug. The power shutoff is actually off and not letting power through, but it's receiving a green automation signal, so it should actually be on and letting power through. The power overlay displays the bugged power shutoff as cutting off the power, which is consistent with what we see happening. So now that we've reproduced the bug with this test, what can we learn? Well, for starters, this bug appears to be triggered only when the game is saved during the moment an automation signal is flipping from red to green, and then that save is later loaded. I've tried different things and have only been able to invoke the bug with a save and load, not through normal running of the game. It also doesn't matter what type of save or where I loaded from, including autosave and closing the game before loading. Additionally, it is important to note that although I reproduced the bug by pausing before saving, that was simply to aid my timing for this demonstration, and the bug occurs whether you pause before saving or not. We can see that the bottom light is still lit up because it's receiving a green automation signal. This means that the bug is unique to power shutoffs. I also tested a couple other devices, and power shutoffs were the only ones I found with the issue. It has been hypothesized by some that the issue was actually smart batteries, or perhaps the timing between multiple power shutoffs controlled by a single smart battery, but this test shows otherwise. Since it's only power shutoffs with the issue, and we reproduce the bug with a switch and NOT gates, we can rule out smart batteries. Since we used NOT gates, we had both red and green signals, but the bug only affected the green signal. In fact, I have been unable to reproduce this bug for the red signal despite using a couple different test setups. Power shutoffs that toggled after loading the save display their enabled, disabled by automation grid status at the top, while power shutoffs that toggle before the save display their active inactive status at the top. The bug power shutoff is displayed like the power shutoffs that toggle before the save. So, with what we know now, how can we get around this bug while we wait for the developers to fix it? Well, let me show you one more thing. When I flip the switch again, everything goes back to normal. This means that all we need to do to get our power shutoff functioning correctly again is to give it a red signal. That also means if it never receives a red automation signal, that it's going to remain bugged, which is consistent with my testing, even through multiple save and reloads. Since the way I was using power shutoffs is with smart batteries as a way to separate power producers from power consumers, something I refer to as a flipper, and since most of the people having issues with this power shutoff bug seem to be using flippers too, I thought I'd provide a simple solution for flippers. On the left, I have a traditional flipper setup of two batteries, four shutoffs, and a knock gate. On the right, I took the traditional setup and added two knock gates and two clocks. 
The idea is to use a clock to send a green signal once a day, which when on a red wire will toggle it to green. This is where the two additional NOT gates come into play, since they'll take a green signal from the smart battery, turn it red, then turn it green again. Now we can use that intermediary red signal with our clock sensor. Add another clock sensor to the other side of the NOT gate and you're good to go. As for settings on the clock sensor, it seems to work just fine with the active duration set as small as possible. Just don't make the activation times the exact same time. I like this setup since it requires the same research node as the traditional setup and is guaranteed to have your setup down for no longer than one full cycle if you happen to get hit by the bug. It's also the easiest to understand and least expensive workaround that I've come up with. It's been working amazingly well for me in sandbox testing. But there's other ways to send the power shut off a red signal as well. You can slide the bars on your smart batteries around manually until they send the opposite signal. You can deconstruct the problematic power shutoff, and you can always devise your own way to do it with automation. Hopefully the developers get this fixed soon, but in the meantime I hope I've given you the tools to get around this bug. If you like this video, please hit the like button and get subscribed. Leave a comment down below with other topics you'd like to see covered, and if you see me on Reddit, say hello!